So what are my overall thoughts? I have some pros and some cons to the method. Overall, I will say I'm shook. Like I absolutely love the method. I love the notion behind the method. I think my hair looks the best it has looked in quite some time. It definitely feels the best it's felt in quite some time. And I'm just loving that for me. So what are the pros? The pros are that you literally can do your hair every day if you want it to. So let's say that you're someone who exercises a lot, right? And you're an extreme sweater. This would be ideal for you because you could reset your hair every day. Like you literally could do it as many times a day as you want. Like I just can't imagine doing it more than once, but I mean, the option is there. You're constantly saturating and bathing your hair and conditioner, which just leaves your hair soft and just moisturized and all the things because you're capturing all of that moisture through the water and helping to hold it in with that conditioner. I also followed up with leave-in conditioner just to give it a little extra oomph. I'm not honestly sure if you even need to do that to be completely transparent because your hair is so like engulfed in regular conditioner that it's almost kind of like a double negative if that makes sense i don't know but i'm slowly you know just working my way through and just figuring it all out the other pro to it is that your hair just feels amazing like you really feel like your hair is constantly being hydrated and being able to capture that moisture because it is Oh, your curls, your curls start to just look amazing. Each day that you do it, your hair just gets better and better. You can set your hair super quick and super fast. The more you do it, the quicker and the faster it gets. Matter of fact, um, I just like, it was almost like record time. I had to just kind of go, okay, let me just slow down just a little bit because I was doing it so quick and it's just um, so fast. Like at first, you're thinking this is like crazy to do this daily there is just no way but then once you start doing it and you get into a rhythm like you can do it super fast and then the other pro to it is the detangling the detangling aspect of it it's like I just finger detangled just to see how that would be and like the amount of hair that I lost was like next to none compared to when I use a brush. And I really felt like I was able to get through my hair, fill the tangles with my fingers and just get through it all. And my hair just felt amazing. And I feel like there's less mechanical damage that takes place by using your fingers versus the brush. And just to test that theory, on this particular wash and go, I went ahead and went through my hair, as you saw in the video, with a brush a little bit, just to see if the finger detangling was really doing the trick throughout the days that I did it. Oh my God, wow! And it absolutely did. So that has changed my mind around my perception and my thoughts around finger detangling, because quite honestly, I just wasn't the biggest um, supporter of finger detangling because I just didn't think that it did as thorough of a job as a brush and maybe it truly 100% doesn't but from the experience that I had I feel like it does a good enough job and I feel like it really saves your hair like when I use the brush I felt like I lost hair that I necessarily shouldn't have lost. Like I didn't feel like it was normal shedding. I felt like it was the brush, like taking some out. I don't know, but I will be finger detangling uh, more so moving forward. So there's that. And the other pro is that I feel like depending on the styler that you use and how much you apply or not, you can get different looks with this method. So if you want like a big, full, voluminous look, you can create that with this look and with time and experience utilizing the method, you can kind of tweak it to where you can get like day three or four looking hair in the wash and go, which is really cool. Or you can get something like this that it's more of a flat, elongated look, you know, of course they have all the movement, which I love and it's a cute look too. So there's a lot of versatility with this method, which I love.
Okay, so what are some of the cons? Well, the obvious one, feeling like you gotta do it every day. I think that the notion of that can feel very daunting, like daily, uh, but, but until you do it and you realize how quick and fast you can do it and how easy it is, I think that you just have to experience to understand it because just hearing it, I just don't think that you can wrap your head around it because I think when you hear it, without really realizing you're doing it, because it's what I did. It's one of those things where like, and even still, it's hard to disassociate what you are used to, like how much work it is to set your hair, like the thought of wetting your hair and resetting your hair. Like it's hard to disassociate your experience of doing that with a regular wash and go versus this method. But once you do this method and you see how quick and easy and fast it becomes with each time you do it, you realize just how doable it becomes. And I just, um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, right? So there is a laziness factor that can come into play because even though it becomes super easy and quick to do, you're going to have days where you're going to be like, yeah, I don't really want to do it. And he says, depending on how tightly curled or kinky coily hair you have, um, it will dictate how you can kind of, kind of fub it a little bit and delay your next wash day. So hence three days, cause I just wanted to see what it would do. I'm curious to see if the detangling process is just as easy as it was when I was doing it daily. I'm also curious to see if using this non-sudsing shampoo of his makes it any more challenging because personally when I wash my hair it just creates a whole situation like my hair usually feels just stripped even if I'm just using a hydrating shampoo it's just it makes it harder for my hair to detangle and all that stuff so I'm really curious to see how that product does in my hair and if waiting three days and then including a wash day, a real wash day, if it is different or not. And it's probably gonna be hard to gauge that because what I probably should have done was co-wash my hair yesterday and reset it just so I could see after two days what my hair was like from a tangling standpoint and then washed it today with the non sudsing shampoo. That would have been the best thing to do, but I just, life got to lifing and I just couldn't do it. So I didn't bother. And plus I was being lazy if I'm just doing what Jesus loves and that's telling the truth. So the other cons are you are using a boatload of conditioner. I happen to have found one that has amazing slip. It feels great and it's really inexpensive. Um, the other con is the amount of styling product that you go through. I felt like I was going through quite a bit. And so I'm just going to continue to navigate my way through that and play with different combinations and different products and just see so far the best product for me has been Big Papa by The Do. That just has worked really well in my hair. That's what I have in it right now. And I've got an amazing hold and longevity and I mean, I didn't stretch my hair or do anything. This is just what it looks like and how she's faring. And I, I mean, I have zero complaints. I absolutely love it. And I love it more than when I added the mousse def on top of it, just saying. What's the other con? Oh, that you have to dry your hair each day. So taking the time, because for me, let me back up. For me, the longest part of the whole process is drying it. And that takes about 15, 20 minutes because I have been sitting under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes and then diffusing it underneath for, you know, a few minutes. And that actually takes the bulk of the time. Now, if I could figure out a way to do it to where I'm not having to sit under the hooded dryer for, you know, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, that would be ideal. But each time I do it, my hair gets to where it's about 75 to 80% dry. And then I can let it air dry the rest of the way. So I'm gonna continue to play around with that and figure it out because 
that's the biggest kind of eh for me. The rest of it is so easy, so, so easy. But if I could somehow, you know, get around the drying time, like maybe even just play around with diffusing it for, you know, five or 10 minutes and then just being done done, that might be the ticket. So I'll have to try that as well. Let me see, what else, what else is there? So the last thing I would say is I would love an opportunity to do his method and use all his products just to see if there's a big difference in using his products and his method. I think that he deserves that. When I say he, I'm speaking of Anthony Dickey. I think that it warrants me being able to fully see it because the way that I've done it with this experiment is obviously the only product that I have of his is this one. And I only had it because I had watched his videos, gosh, several months back. And I purchased this just from listening to him. But then like the content that was out there in YouTube University surrounding his method, it was so dated that I was like, gosh, does this stuff still stand true for present day? And so it made me gun shy because I kind of played with it just a little bit and I was like, this is amazing. And then I got gun shy because I was like, wait, is this information still even relevant and, and you know pertinent? So then I pulled back and I just went to my regular old methods. Well, since then, I feel like he has uh, started to put forth new content and everything that he's putting forth and bringing forth, it's the same exact information. Like nothing has changed to my knowledge. If you know that something's changed, please let your girl know because you know we're all here to help each other and learn from each other. From what I have gathered, everything is still the same. It's the same products and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to continue this experiment, continue to utilize his method and just see where it takes me in my hair. And like when I tell you my hair days have been nothing short of amazing and phenomenal, fantastic, like everything, I, I mean, I have no words. Like my curls, even in my struggle bus areas, they look good. Where my hair was looking like super stripped and crazy and just like even in the areas where the texture seems like it's not seems like it's been changed, where it's been changed from the other practices that I had implemented, which we won't get into because y'all already know what we're talking about. And if you don't, I have other videos on it. So go on and make sure you check them out. You know, if you want to be nosy up in this joint, but like this is day three and I've touched this quite a bit and my freaking nail kept getting caught in it and it frizzed out. But before that, it was looking like, like this. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's amazing. With that, I'm going to ask you that if you've tried this method, please drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. If you haven't tried it, but you plan to try it, drop a comment down. I'd love to hear your feedback on it because I plan to continue to do it unless something cray cray happens. And I will continue to let y'all know what my thoughts are. Also, this truly may be the end of the video. I don't know because I have a skin appointment at 1230. And so I've got to jump into the shower and do my thing. But the cool part is that I'm not stressed about the time. Like even though I'm filming content right now and I know I got to do my hair and set it and all that, it's so quick that I'm like, well, I only need 30 minutes and then I'm good to go. Like I'm out the door. But I do kind of want to let you guys know what my experience is with his product and how the wash day goes. And if I really feel like my hair is truly getting cleansed and my scalp properly because I know that's important and I know that's a big concern because it is for me as well. So I don't know. Um, this video has been long enough so maybe I'll just pop into another video and just do a update on this. Hey friends so I'm just popping in to let you know that the product was awesome. My scalp feels clean. My hair feels clean. I didn't feel like I had a crazy amount of tangles it was a lovely experience and 
it was everything that I could have hoped for. So that's the skinny on that. Yeah, I'm excited. So thank you for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you share it if you think it could help another girlfriend. And until next time, bye girlfriends.